And in other Alaska industry is facing some tough times. The lack of summer is starting to take its toll on some local farmers. The cooler temperatures tend to stunt the growth of a very popular flower in the United States. Carly Schreck talked to a couple of peony farmers out of the valley who tell us what kind of season they've been experiencing this year. It's easy to feel at peace, standing in a field of one of Alaska's most beautiful bounties. The fragrance, the fluffiness, they're like the queen of flowers. They really are. <laughs> but this year's peony harvest has been stressful. Miserable, unpredictable, challenging. I mean, the weather causes so many domino effects down the line. I've had staffing arrive at the wrong time. Um, they were here to harvest. There's nothing to harvest. Martha Lojeski has only now started to clip the stems on her farm in Willow. Weeks later than normal. And it's not just cold, wet weather. It is a lot of cold, wet weather. It's not just like a few days late. It is three weeks late than last, later than last year. Two weeks later than what we call average. Over in Wasilla, it's the same story for Deborah Champion. I've lived here for over 55 years, and this is the coldest summer I've experienced. And the plants are really feeling it this year. Alaska's peonies are known for their late season bloom, essentially cornering the market in July and August sales. But this year's delay in harvest delivered a financial blow to these local farms. A third of our orders had to be canceled. Um, it was tens of thousands of dollars that were canceled the first two weeks. And of course they're weddings, so they're not gonna get rebooked. But I'm hoping we can satisfy that chunk at the end of the season with other, far other um, brides, other florists, events, wholesalers. Um, and just extend our season. Hoping to make good on the lost revenue in the back half of the season. People are just passionate about peonies. They get excited when they get here, you know, and it's fun. Carly Shrek, Alaska's News Source.